a octave Weber mandolin, and uh, it's a lot like the uh, the fern mandolin that I have, just the the regular mandolin, and this is just basically a giant version of the mandolin. I really like this one because you you don't see a whole lot of F style octaves floating around. You know, a lot of times you'll see the the A styles, you'll see the ones with the the round hole, but uh, to actually just have you know this one gets a lot of woes <laughs> when people see it, you know, because it's just kind of like a, a giant mandolin. I remember seeing it for the first time and being like, this looks like a toy, you know, it doesn't seem like it would be a, a real instrument, but I really love it. It's a lot of fun to play for sure. One great thing about this is that, you know, it has such a low register that it has a lot more sustain than just a regular mandolin does. And so a lot of times I'll use a capo on it. You can capo up even, you know, say to B and play play out a G and and it still has just such a great quality about it it's a really great instrument to sing with um, so I use it you know in a lot of settings like that and uh, also you know it can be really fun to play with another mandolin player I've had um, situations where I've got to play this with like another mandol mandolin player maybe somebody with a mandola or somebody with a mando cello and you get all those instruments together it can be be really fun but uh, I've been trying to learn a little bit of classical music lately and it can sound pretty cool to, to play the bass lines you know on, on the octave with somebody else playing the the lead part um, on the mandolin so it's a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.